Poor man want to be rich. Rich man want to be king. A king is satisfied till he rules everything. Satisfied is not a thing. When I walk through the doors of court saying, Prince Akeem, rose petals on the scene. My bathers don't play fair. They double team. Happens every day. That's just your dream. Ain't no secret. Should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down in the post. I'm a sub back to you. Rit, 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 rit. Now I'm talking about... Hey, my people, y'all know why we here. So, um, throughout this Diddy saga, man, um, he has always been, uh, had that attitude of being aloof, um, unconcerned, unbothered, um, and he feels that he is not at fault. Perfect example, when Cassie, uh, filed her lawsuit against Diddy. Not even 24 hours passed. Diddy signed it. He thinking, you know what I'm saying? He can get her to keep her mouth shut and just pay her off. He comes out with a statement. We vehemently deny the charges. We are just trying to basically, we're just trying to pay, but we don't, we disagree with these charges. We don't uh, agree with them and we're not saying that we're guilty. We just saying we're going to pay off. Now, peep this. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Hey, Renegades, do y'all notice the, the, the change in tenor? Um, his tone has changed. Now he's remorseful. This is the humble Diddy. Never seen the humble Diddy before. Um, but you see, when, and I was curious, I did a video. I did a video curious, like, why would the feds raid Diddy's home without an arrest warrant for Diddy? So now the feds having it where it's going gonna, it's gonna to be no support for our dude Puff Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Remember Diddy had a lot of cats trying to, you know what I'm saying? Mano. You know what I'm saying? Just off the top of my head, Mano. Carisha, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's what's Stevie? Uh, Love and Hip Hop Stevie. He was in Diddy's Corner, you know what I'm talking about? Mika Mills, you know what I'm saying? All these cats in Diddy Corner. But when they released that that video of Diddy, when he just tried to ragdoll Cassie, you know what I'm saying? And this is the thing. Now you're now you're apologetic, Diddy. Now you're humble. That's just one instance of this abuse. I would put my last dollar on that that wasn't the first or the last instance of abuse for Cassie, you know what I'm saying? And who is your PR team? This was this was disorganized. I think you did this on your own because it was very very poor. You didn't even acknowledge who you were apologizing to. Were you talking to Kim Porter? Were you talking to Mary J Blige? Were you talking to Cassie? Were you talking to numerous other? Were you talking to J-Lo? Who were you speaking to? You didn't acknowledge. You tried to come out here as you're being contrite and that you're being remorseful, but you don't even acknowledge who you're speaking to. Bad. Very bad. And see, y'all thought it was all good. Like, I, we go back to the point where they, had, they didn't charge you and they haven't picked you up yet. 
Y'all thought it was all sweet. Y'all went down to Miami. You were invited everybody. Hey, come on down. It's all good. And the next day, boom, that video dropped. And you knew the video was out there, but see, you were at the Mark Hotel. Here we go with that hotel, the Mark again. Um, allegedly, this hotel has been coming up a lot. You know what I'm saying? This hotel has been coming up a lot. People pay a lot of money to keep things private and for discretion. And that's why you can have someone doing what he did to Cassie out in public in a hallway, throwing vases at people and, and just rag down on this young lady. You know what I'm saying? Because you pay for discretion. That's why you pay $75,000 a night because somebody going to look the other way. You know what I'm talking about? But once things are out there, once things are recorded, like they say, once something get on the internet, it's never erased. Once something gets recorded, it's never truly erased. And Diddy allegedly paid $50,000 um, to have that video either suppressed or erased. But when the feds want something, they get their computer people up in there, it's gonna come to light, you know what I'm saying? So. Renegades, what do y'all think of Diddy's apology? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think it was too little too late? Or do y'all think he was sincere even though he even acknowledged who he was apologizing to? Let me get y'all opinion, you know what I'm saying? But hey, bro, you about to have a rough road ahead, Diddy, because now the court of public opinion, you've lost that, you know what I'm saying? So now you're going to be out there on your own. It's nobody going to be standing with you. Maybe your mama. Maybe your kids. That's about it. No one else is going to stand with you because they see what you do and they know how you are. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, that's just how I see it, man. Should do Eddie Kane Jr. You ain't no renegade. Hit that sub button. You want to join us on the low-key abuse-free mission. Hit that join button. Welcome to the renegades. Dude. Keep going. Count out loud. That's the wrong time, nigga. Count out loud. 30. Can't, huh? Four. Six. Seven. Nah.